the first half of the summer has come and gone. So how did we fare this year over last year? Stay tuned for all the real estate action in Halifax for the month of July. But first, cue the music so you know who we are. So July is typically a quiet month coming out of the busy spring market. People have been waiting all year to go away with the biggest decision being where to go on vacation. In usual economic curve for yearly real estate, we do trend down in July and August after the big spring market and we pick up again after the long weekend in September. Well, it's that time of the month again for the Halifax real estate stat. I'm Brenda Kay with the Halifax Home Selling Group and the sweet Miss Frankie. Uh, hard to believe she does wake up sometimes. I hope you continue to enjoy our weekly videos and it would make Miss Frankie's day and mine letting us know by hitting the share and subscribe buttons below. So we definitely had hot weather temperatures, but not so hot in the real estate sales and 2024 monthly curve coming out of the spring market. In today's video, we'll focus on year over year and you'll see some percentages that will shock you. Just a reminder, this report includes all styles of homes, detached, semis, condos. We want to give you the full scope of the home styles. If you'd like to know what's going on in your neighborhood and specific comment value below, and we'll be happy to send you a neighborhood specific or home style specific report. July 2024, so more active listings hitting the market, which is a good thing. Our active listings for the month of July finally hit over 1,000 for the first time since pre-COVID with 1,012 active listings, tipping us up by 20% over 2023, active listings of 808. The more inventory we have, the better. This number along with the days on market dictate the status of the real estate market. So let's take a look at the rate of increase in activities. 2021 in the frenzy and today, 59% increase. We are also going to talk about the pre and post COVID market. I've put a link below to our new real estate question section on our website. All right, let's jump over to the unit sales. Like I said, July is the first month in the slower summer market. Our number of sales were up by 14% though. July, 2023 had 425 sellers packing up their homes. And in 2024, we had 498 people packing up. A lot of buyers sat on the fence in the spring waiting to see if the interest rate was going to go down. Remember, the interest rates may go down, but home prices are continuing to climb. Year-to-date unit home sales are moved by only 5%, which surprised me because it felt like a slower month, actually. 173 more year-to-date units sold this year, 3,000 homes over 2023, which saw 2,827 unit home sales year to date. We are past the craziness. 2021, where the unit sales year to date were 4,618, 30%, 35%, sorry, higher only four years ago. So did the market shift? What is the most important factor of a shift? I'll share that at the end. The days on market also went up to 33 over 28 days. So we're another week out and we're going to talk about the days on market at the end also and how to make sure you can fit in the average days on market pricing category. The luxury homes are still selling with 18 homes over a million dollars sold in July in the Halifax market with the highest hitting just below 2 million. So luxury is still selling higher than I ever thought we would see in Halifax. Month supply tells us the absorption rate. If no other listings come on, we have enough inventory for about 11 weeks, just shy of three months. And we had last week was seven weeks, so just over, over two weeks. So that means for the next couple months, we'd have enough inventory to sell if nothing else came on the market. So our average sale price is just under $600,000, $588,067 in 2024, July. Hmm. That's getting pretty close to $600,000 mark, which is something else I never thought I'd see in Halifax. We have the COVID market to thank for this amount of increase in average sale prices over the last four years, with the average sale price for the month of July 2023 was at $583,375. So year over year, we have an increase of close to $5,000 from July 2023, not even a full percentage point. If you feel as a buyer you are priced out of the market right now, I'd love to hear that. With the slight decrease in interest rates, the majority of home homeowners affected are the ones with variable rates. Here's a good way to see my prediction on what I believe the interest rates will be by the end of 2024. Click the video linked here so you can hold my feet to the fire in January. How's that for inviting opinions? I welcome yours in the comments below. The list price to sale price percentage is the pulse of the real estate pricing. We can see in July 2024, we are trending back over the 100% list sell price ratio at 100.5%. So it's trending down just over 1% from July 2023, 
when it reached 101.7. Appreciation in July is a real kick in the pants compared to the past four years. It is less than 1%. Metal man, <laughs> if you bought last year and see this as an omen. Okay, let's look at the price points. And when you see the sales this way, just we're almost finished, it will paint a completely different picture for you. We're going to focus on the high yellow bar in which four years ago was the largest selling category at 300 to 400,000. And look where the yellow bar is now. In July, 2023, the green bar 400 to 500,000 was top selling. And note the little gray, 200 to 300,000 in 2021 compared to 2024. Will this category be virtually gone next year? Let's switch up to just price point bar graph. In July this year, yes, it is the red bar representing, you can see there at 500 to 600,000. It's quite evident above with the number, but seeing it on a graph really shows you where it is. Everything is jumping up by about $100,000 per year price category. I'm going to uh, throw in a few line charts down at the bottom that you can click on and have a look line by line over four years. And I think you'll find that interesting. Just click the link below for those. Don't be concerned that some of the real estate markers are down over the last four years. The 21 and 22 markets drove our market up to a price point that it forced many buyers to rethink the style, size, and location of what they were buying because the price points of the style, size, and location of what they wanted went higher than their budget. We have a really antsy dog here today. I'm almost finished. So how does this market data affect you as a seller or buyer? As a buyer, you have to shift your expectations what style of home you can afford on your budget or be willing to go a little further from the city center. And as a seller, price point is very important. The COVID pricing, it's over. Do not get discouraged over the longer days on market either. We are moving back to a pre-COVID, pre-COVID market. We have seen more price reductions in the last few months than we have in years because sellers are still wanting to price, thinking they can capture the money laid in Ontario buyers that are still flocking here, not going to happen. It's over. Click the links below for a copy of our buyers or sellers guides to get you the best deal out there for selling and the best deal buying using our five star system. A few takeaways besides Frankie making a bunch of noise here, a few takeaways. The most important factor in market shift is price. Pricing right will keep you in line with the days on market for your price category. You may have to shift your expectations. Like I said, you may have to go a little bit further out. Here's how to benefit in this market. Working with an experienced realtor that has a cute dog, that has a well laid out strategy, and my team can help you with that strategy, whether buying or selling. So these reports not only keep you informed of current real estate conditions in Halifax, it also gives me an overview of what strategies I can advise for buyers and sellers at certain price points. Comment value below and we'll reach out with a market valuation that doesn't necessitate a home visit. Completely complimentary and no obligation. Thank you so much for tuning in. As everybody knows, I love real estate. Make Miss Frankie's day. I'm going to in a minute by putting her, putting her down so she can run out and play in the grass. Subscribe if you enjoy our video. Now here's a new thing. I hear so many fallacies about real estate, clients, friends, family members. Everyone has an opinion on everything. It's very rare I'm out and someone doesn't bring up real estate. How's the market? I'm buying, I'm selling, I'm thinking of it, or just a general question. We've created the uh, contact linked below. Simply scroll down to the message area and send in your questions. I respond to every comment on my videos and every visitor to our site. Have a question about real estate? Let me answer. I'm Brenda Kay of the Halifax Home Selling Group, and this is the sweet Miss Frankie who definitely is acting up today. So I'm going to take her out for a little walk and a pee. I will see you next month. Cheers. Brenda Kay from the Halifax Home Selling Group.